everybody. My name is Aaron. And we're here at the Rep Room tonight, and uh, we've got a couple artists that we'd like to talk about today, and we want to talk to them and kind of interview them, and we want to see where they're at, why they do what they do, and why they're so good at it. Now, right here I have Cindy, and Cindy's uh, one of the first um, people I've spoken with here today. And Tim, Cindy, kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. What, what inspired you to be an uh, artist? Why do you paint? What makes you, what makes Cindy, Cindy? Well, I really didn't care about painting until I got born again, and uh, then I found Jesus, who I love, and started to paint a little bit. But actually, when I got divorced, I went through a devastating divorce and moved to Israel. So moved to Israel? Yeah. Wow. So then I started painting everything about Israel, because I fell in love with the country mm -hmm. and the people. Mm -hmm. Well, What's the climate like in, in Israel? It's warm, usually. The mm -hmm. winters are cold. It's surprising. Kind of, okay. You wouldn't expect it because it's desert, but mm -hmm. it does get cold in the winter. Oh, okay. I, I, I never imagined Israel being cold. I've never been there. I kind of wanted to go. And uh, But what inspires you as far as your pictures? Why, what makes you paint the different pictures that you do? Do you just think of something and then you paint them, or do you uh, just kind of come off the top of the head? Tell me about okay, that. Okay, this is over a 35 year period. Okay. Every 10 years I get an inspiration and that's when I paint. Other than that, I don't sit down like a disciplined artist. And I'm oh, really okay. here because I love this church. This is my church and I wanted to support them with the art. Oh, okay, oh that's good. And uh, now, um, do you use, I have a special type of paint that you use? Or does it matter or do you just like, you flow with it? with it. Oh, Whatever's okay. around. Oh, okay. I especially like glitter. Oh, okay. I've gotten into glitter lately. Oh, okay. Now tell us a little bit about yourself. What What do you do besides paint? What What makes you mellow out? Uh, believe it or not, I went to school for a video. Oh, really? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> TV production. I got a master's at Regent and um, I would love to do that. In fact, to show what God is doing in the arts. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. Obviously, you jumped ahead of me and uh -huh. did it yourself. You, you know what? You know what? You know we're gonna hook up. Okay. We're gonna <laughs> that hook sounds up. good. Okay. So, guys, we're here at the River Room tonight, and um, I'm gonna get the address because I don't know it right off the top of my head. But we're gonna get it back with you guys. And thanks, Cindy. I appreciate you talking to me. All right. Okay. Hello, everybody. I've got another guest with me. This is Jennifer, and she prefers Jennifer. I called her Jenny a little while ago, and and she straightened me out. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like that. Uh, but uh, So Jennifer, how long have you been painting? Um, I've been painting since I was 18. 18? How old are you now? Uh, 34. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't think she was going to tell me. <laughs> okay, well you're good looking 34 though. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, like, I liked her style. That's the first thing I noticed, her haircut and everything. You know, What inspired you to paint though? Um, the Lord inspired. I think everyone is answering that, but um, really... Um, just my relationship with him and mm -hmm. the way that he speaks and, um, you know, is very inspirational. Okay. Now, um, you have a favorite scripture yes. that you like. Yes. Tell us about that. Psalm 23. Um, everybody knows that psalm and um, it's mainly a psalm that people pray when they're going through dark times, you know, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and I'll fear no evil. And it's definitely been a prayer I've been praying and so... Um, a lot of the art that I've done has been inspired by that. And I noticed you paint a lot of lambs because of that, too. Yes. I noticed that. So we're going to probably be flashing some pictures up of, of uh, Jennifer's uh, lambs, and I thought they were kind of cute. I really enjoyed them. What makes Jennifer Jennifer, though? What, what, what inspires Jennifer? What inspires me? Mm -hmm. um, well, as far as art goes, I just love the form of expression that mm -hmm. it is. Um, you know, I think everyone has something inside of them that is hard to put words to, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of that. And so I tend to paint more because mm -hmm. um, it helps me express and get things out. So. Oh, okay. oh, good. Do you have like a special type of brush and colors and oils and things that you um, use? I have not used oil paints yet um, because they're so expensive. Oh, okay. So um, I use whatever I can afford and whatever I can get my hands on. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys, we're going to have some of her pictures on the website, too, so you can kind of look at that and see what she does. All right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jennifer. Hello, everybody. Our next guest for tonight, and he goes by Rads. And I want to make sure I get that right, because I know how I am when people get my name wrong. So that's Rads, R-A-D-S, right? Okay. And tell me a little bit about you. What what, what inspired you to paint? Uh, since, since I was a kid, I always liked drawing, coloring, uh, even mm -hmm. in kindergarten with the finger paints. I mm -hmm. always had a thing, thing for making colors and making shapes and forms. Oh, okay. Drawing, mm -hmm. So that's, that's mm -hmm. kind of what, what do you mostly like to draw? Uh, I like the, the freedom of it. I don't like, I shouldn't say I don't like, I like to do abstract, which is a challenge because okay. there's no... I'm not held accountable to anything specific. Oh, okay. Like, like, you know, I, I, I really enjoy abstract, but I, just, I don't know, how do you come up with the concepts to do? I just feel like I'm, I'm a vessel, you know, and I get these subconscious, and I just let it come out on campus. I have nothing... In, I, I don't start with anything in mind, and it just kind of comes out. Oh, so so I mean, you don't, you, don't, you just nothing. It's, that's that's great, man. Right. Yeah, now, I can never do that. I'm, I'm the type of person I have to plan things, you know. So and I, maybe I'll take that from you and just kind of, kind of, you know, touch bases with that. So 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 what makes you you? What 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 inspires you? What what brings out something and makes you want to sit down and say, I want to paint this. Well, well, I'm a little bit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a master's in psychology, and, so, and, and I like astrology, so I kind of mm -hmm. try to interpret feelings and impressions of people, and, and I put a little astrology in, in there, and, mm -hmm. and, and it just kind of comes out. Okay. And every now and then, I will do a little realism every now and then to mm -hmm. keep it real. Because some people need realism. They don't you don't have to understand the abstract. You just have to experience. Mm -hmm. So many people say I don't understand it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's just something to be experienced. You know, okay. So I try to. Color, a little balance, okay. a little harmony, and create some motion, and just just engage the eyes. Mm -hmm. What I try to do. Right. Are there any artists that inspire you that you kind of look at and want to be like, or you want to be your own person? Uh, interesting. Uh, when I was in college, there was a gentleman that gave an art show. I was living in the uh, Afro, Afro Center, and we had an art show from a, a local artist, and he had a painting there that I kept passing, going back and forth to class. So he was taking it down. The show was over, and I came up to him. His name was Jack White. And I said, Mr. White, I just love this painting. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about this painting. So uh, he explained, you know, this is an abstract and it's real and what have you. And so I wanted to buy it, but I'm, I was a college senior. I didn't have any money. He says, he says, you got five dollars. So I gave him five dollars, and he gave me this painting. Really? And uh, to make a long story short, I wound up working with him. Consequently, that following summer, and he, quote unquote, he gave me my first and only lesson. You know, I'm self-taught. Oh, okay. He, Kind of mentored me, okay. and by working mm -hmm. together in our offices next to each other, that's when I started painting, and, and I had him tutoring me. Mm -hmm. And the first painting that I did, I saw somebody bought it. You know, I wasn't even wow. trying to sell it, uh -huh. and, that, and that just made me feel like maybe this is something I want to do. If 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 I look at your your abstract, um, will I see? I mean, will I see an image in there, or is it just? I can look at it and just enjoy it for art. Just enjoy it for oh, art. Okay. Some, some of them have in, images, some of them are subconscious images, mm -hmm. uh, some of it, uh, but but there's nothing specifically that I put in there. Sometimes the, the images do come out that I don't even know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I've seen pictures sometimes, and when I look at them, I can kind of say, you know, that looks like uh, two people walking, mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe they're holding hands, but that's not what it is. And somebody else will look at it, and they'll see something else in there. And that's what I like about art itself. You know, you can just kind of interpret. That's what I like it's about abstract. You can kind of interpret what you like. Right. You know, and it's almost kind of like the Rorschach test in psychology, and where they have the images, and they ask you, "What do you see?" Mm -hmm. So that, that's the kind of effect that I, I never thought about that. Yeah, right. Similar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you ask people what they they, not, they not see? Not really, anything? because because. If, if, I want people to look at it and not necessarily look for something, just just look at the overall thing and feel it. You know? okay. but, but, but if they don't see something in there, then they feel that they, that they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. but, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a something. Oh, okay. You know, that is so great, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate you talking right, to us. And I'd like to get back with you at a later time, maybe do okay. something a couple months from now and see Sounds how you're good. coming along, all right? Please appreciate the opportunity. All right, thanks, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Hello, everybody. Hi. Our next guest is Vanessa. Guys, Vanessa is a handful. She really is. She's a handful. I've been talking to her and I've really been enjoying her. And um, I noticed her because she has so much style in her look and the clothes she wears and everything. It's obvious she's an artist. And so, so Vanessa, tell me, let's go all the way back to when you were a child. Tell me what made you want to paint. 
as a child, I did a lot of arts and crafts. I was in the neighborhood, even in elementary school, selling pot holders and decoupage and glasses and things like that. So it, it kind of went from there as a child up until an adult. I really didn't do painting, um, but I did arts and crafts, but I enjoyed doing colors. I love colors and, and working with colors and matching things and coordinating things. Okay. So it kind of started from, from elementary school, really, because mm -hmm. I, I used to really enjoy the art classes and doing mm -hmm. the projects. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where the foundation comes from okay. as far as the art and enjoying art and color. All right. Now, so you were an entrepreneur then. You were, you were wound up <laughs> making a little bit of money on the side, a little, little hustle. That's what that was. <laughs> What makes Vanessa Vanessa though? Tell, tell me about what, what makes you you? What, what, what molded you into what you are now? I see you're very stylish. I love your haircut, the way you're working with that. I love your face. I love everything about you. And you're a person, in my opinion, you're a person that just grabbed me when I first met you and I really wanted to talk to you. So what, what brought you here? To this today or to or, art? Or, or to art, period. Okay. Um, honestly, the power of God working in my life. Um, God has equipped me uh, with a ministry of emotional healing. Mm -hmm. And through emotional healing, there's expression, and it's to tap into um, what that, what that, um, that area is, what that mm -hmm. arena is, and for me it's a creative arena. And it's just been two years since I've been doing abstract art. And God is showing me through the art and through the colors how to deal with emotional healing and how to help other people deal with the issues in their lives. Oh, okay. um, I've worked um, before with uh, recovering addicts and being able to hear uh, the things that they have gone through and, and hearing the things that um, cause them pain um, and helping them to come through what it is they need to come through as God uh, would move in their lives. So um, my art, the abstract art, um, to me, um, I know God gave that uh, medium to me uh, in the sense that it's free. Okay. It's free. It's, it's not a flower. It's not a bird. It's not a building. I do it. I look at it, and I see what's in it. Uh -huh. I have no. It's not intentional. Uh -huh. It's what comes out of it. What I see in it after I do it, and that's healing. Um, I, people laugh me at work because when I get stressed out, um, I tell them. I said I, I got to go home and throw some paint. Oh! I've never heard that before. We got to throw paint. I've seen people throw paint. I got stuff like that. Do you do that? Have a big board and everything, and throw paint on for real? I, I, I will after tonight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, look, guys. I can do that kind of art. Yes. I can do that and, kind of art. I can throw it abstract. And call it abstract, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then I'll sign my name on that bad boy. Yes. You better believe yes. it. Stop talking about my art. <laughs> I like your art, though. Thank I like you your so art. Much. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming in here. I really enjoyed talking to you, Vanessa. I'd like to get with you also, maybe a couple months down the road, see what you're doing. Okay. And uh, is this, and I, I imagine you've done other shows before. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many have you done so far? Um, at this point, um, I'm about five. Five, okay. So it's been two years that I've been doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm that's, still that's establishing good, mm -hmm. myself. But you're doing really career. good. Uh -huh. well, Appreciate you, so you talking to me. All, All right. right. God bless you. You have a good night. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, guys, <laughs> we have Jill. Jill got to see everybody else, so she's yes, a pro at what she's doing. Yes. And I'm still kind of laughing at Vanessa. <laughs> That was, uh, that was good. That's my buddy, you too. know, and it, I, I, I didn't act up. I stayed, I stayed professional. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. All right, so let, let's talk about you now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell me what, what, what Jill does. I am a realist okay. uh, artist. I do realism. I do acrylic art. Um, pretty much whatever is in my head mm -hmm. shows up on the campus. Uh, unless I go on a vacation somewhere, I'll take mm -hmm. some pictures of something that's really cool, and then I will... You know, put it on canvas. What what is acrylic? I've heard of that, but I never knew what acrylic. It's one of the mediums. You can okay. have oils or acrylics mm -hmm. or watercolors. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, a different way that um, it goes onto the canvas, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, wet or dry or it's just different mm -hmm. mediums that uh, mm -hmm. stuff that you can put through it mm -hmm. to make it wetter. And mm -hmm. It's just how, a how do you preference. pick? How do you pick it though? I mean, do you, is that what you just felt like, I want to do this or I want to? Yeah, um, okay. my husband was in the process of writing a book and okay. he needed something for his cover art. Mm -hmm. So I went and I 
bought a small canvas and I said, uh -huh. okay, you know, and I started painting something that was in his head. Oh, great. Which is not easy to do coming mm -hmm. from him to canvas. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but then once I did it, he looked at it and he said, wow, you know, you've got some talent. Let's, let's keep this going. Oh, really? So oh, okay. he kept buying me canvas. So he was kind of pushing paint. you oh, then. Oh, man, that is great. He's uh -huh. been an amazing encourager. Mm -hmm. he because, you know what, I, I hear sometimes people are doing things and their spouse is not involved. And I, kind of, and, I, and I kind of feel like, you know, hey, you know, come on, get involved, push, push, push. He is very you involved. Know? He That's stands great. there and he looks at the canvas and he'll say, okay, you know, you know, what else is it that, you know, is going on in your head? You know, I know there's more. Come on, let's bring it out. Okay. And usually other things end up coming out. Is, so. is, he, is he kind of like really critical? You know, I mean, does there he? There are times. Well, I don't like that. There are times, very seldom does he look at something and say, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And if he looks at something and says, well, you know, I'm not sure, he'll come back like an hour later and he'll look at it and say, okay, I see what you're doing now. And oh, okay. Then he can see the story okay, so he, behind it. Does, does he actually understand it? Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. When you look important. at my paintings, um, the difference between what an abstract and what I do is you can see the actual image of uh -huh. what's going on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the the series we just got done doing, I uh, we took pictures of the Chesapeake Bay, okay. all different areas, mm -hmm. and I took those pictures and I put them onto canvas. Okay. So you can look at it and say, hey, that's the pier down at Oceanfront. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But then mm -hmm. there are times where God just says, you know, hey, how about painting this? And you know, when you look through the paintings that I've done, you know, it's amazing what God can do. Oh, okay. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you do those through God. Yes, I do. Oh man, that is so great. I am not a painter. Uh, I, I can't paint a lick. I, <laughs> I, I wish I could. And and so and I, that I when I kind of thought God brought the idea to me of you know put some art on the right. website, and I thought this you know this is great, but where am I going to find artists? And so when I was talking to Ray about it last week, and he was telling me we're going to have an art show, and I thought. <laughs> Oh, this is great. And and you you actually put all this together, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago, we literally brought this together in three weeks. Wow. Um, I had just said to him, hey, you know, why don't we do something for the artists? You know, mm -hmm. we've got all these fabulous bands that come in. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just do something? Oh, yeah. And, I, and I like the angle, too. The angle is really great. They've got bands here, what, every week now? Every now, Friday night is every, a different band. Oh, okay. And uh, now they have art coming in. Are you planning on doing this again We're gonna sometime? We're going to do this once a month. Oh, once a month. Okay. So And that'll be good, too, because then people can kind of expect so more people yes. will be coming. Yes. So that means I'll be here, yes, okay? Is. And and I've been trying to get her to help me out and, and, <laughs> and do a show with her. So you guys write and kind of help me push her into hosting my new show, okay? So something I really want to do. All right, all right. And I think you're going to do. And also, you're you're you're, you're um, um, teacher also. I'm Sunday a youth school pastor. Teacher. Oh, youth pastor. Yes, I'm a youth okay. Pastor. What's the difference between a Sunday school teacher and a youth? You know, my, my youth actually asked me that question one day. Um, Sunday school is where they're learning the Bible from curriculum that is specific to Sunday lessons. When you're a youth pastor, it's their emotions, it's their life, it's their journey, it's what they do during the day, it's their relationships with their friends, mm -hmm. and keeping them on the journey okay. with Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. And it's just, there's a, it's a... 24-7 kind of thing because mm -hmm. you're talking to him on Facebook, you're talking to him through email, you're texting with them, uh -huh. you know, it's nothing to get a text at 11 o'clock at night, hey, uh, need We to ain't doing that. <laughs> I am yeah. not doing any texting at 11 o'clock. In fact, it's getting late right now for me. I should be going home right now, going <laughs> to bed. And uh, But anyway, I'm staying here and I'm enjoying my time well, with thank you guys. You. I'm I really so glad that you're here. Uh, and, and you know what? Uh, the first time I surprise. came here, first time I'm here, I really enjoyed working here. Yeah. I said, this is great, man. I'd love to come in here and do some stuff. And I spoke with Ray, and Ray kind of said, you know, well, yeah, come on. And I thought, okay. So that's my new venue. Well, so I'm going to be doing art, a lot of art on my webpage, and uh, we'll get you guys the information. You can kind of hang out with us and everything. And if you can't come here, then you'll know where to go and find us. And you have a webpage also. Yes, I too. do. And uh, a lot of the artists have web pages. Yes. We'll make sure that that information gets on the website, and you can just kind of click and go right to their webpage. All right. That's right. I really appreciate you talking. Well, thank to you me. so much for all having right. us here, and all we right. look forward to seeing you again. All right, and we look forward to seeing you guys again. All right, thanks, thank and you guys you. have a good night. Bye.